So first of all, uh, thank you for the opportunity to perform this evening. Uh, this is the, uh, the first and likely the only time that I will be the warm-up act for a Nobel Prize winner. <laughs> all right, so before I start, um, I just want to say a few words about this, this piano. Um, it has an acoustic um, uh, keyboard, an action that's taken from a grand piano. It's actually, that's what, how it's manufactured. And um, it has no strings. So even though it looks like it does. Uh, the, the engineers who, who designed this, uh, they, they, um, they sampled uh, a nine foot uh, 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 concert grand, uh, it's a Yamaha, um, at three places on the soundboard. And so when the hammers move forward and they hit, they hit sensors. And, and then speakers that are placed in the soundboard at the same positions as where the sampling was done, then uh, accurately uh, produce the, the vibrations. I thought that this you know, audience would appreciate that. So, and, and actually when you play it, you can feel those vibrations in, your, in the keys and in the pedal. So this is tactile feedback is what they say. Um, and that makes this really the first uh, instrument uh, that you know, someone who, who understands pianos can play and feel good at. And I own both a, uh, a Steinway M, which is a, a medium-sized uh, grand, and as, as well as one of these. And mostly I, I actually enjoy uh, practicing on this, especially when my daughter and my wife are asleep because then I put the headphones on. <laughs> so the first piece on the program is uh, Chopin's Opus 9 uh, Nocturne. And uh, the Nocturnes... Uh, were, are among uh, Chopin's best-loved works. Uh, they are songs without words and uh, with flowing melodies that kind of soar above the accompaniment. So first you'll hear some Chopin, and then we'll get to the, um, the serious business.
So the, the second part of this concert, uh, as, 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 as Jay, uh, uh, or David, I'm sorry, uh, uh, said, was the uh, improvisations on themes that all of you suggested earlier today. And I am very impressed with the creativity of the suggestions. <laughs> I, I've been doing this for a long time, and, and I've never seen such a wide variety. And, and, and there's more here than suggestions than we have time for. So to start, I've picked a few that I like and also were suggested by the directors, so it seemed like the right choice. <laughs> and then I'll let you vote on which other ones we choose. So the first three that I came up with, uh, Jay Davis suggested the uh, Yellow Submarine as a Sousa March. And then uh, Greg Canavan asked for Yankee Doodle on late Beethoven with dissonances, uh, but several other folks asked for Beethoven as well. Uh, for example, uh, we, we, we have uh, uh, requests for Fur Elise, and we had other, and uh, Moonlight Sonata, and all these things. And in order to, uh, we'll, we'll combine that all together. So I, I think we'll start with early Beethoven, move to late, you know, late a little bit like that. And then the third uh, piece I'm going to start with is uh, Steve Fantone's The Godfather theme in Eclipso fashion. <laughs> all right. Which, which we could, and, and I, I think I'm going to do first Calypso and then move it to a tango while we, to keep the Latin theme going. All right, so, the, so first you'll hear uh, Yellow Submarine as a Sousa March, and I'm going to give a couple extra styles while we're at it. I, 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 I hear this also as a Bach Chacon, so we'll start with, we'll, we'll start with the march and then go to, the, to go to a Bach version. So that's the theme. So this is the um, Yankee Doodle, and also Michael Ansor asked for for release, so we'll put a little bit in that, and uh, you'll, you'll see. Thank you. 
So uh, St Steve Fantone asked for Godfather, and this will be uh, in Latin version.
So having done the director's request, we can start uh, with letting you guys choose. So um, here's two that I, that I liked. Um, so Eric Hoke, is that, is that right, Eric Hoke? All right, Eric Hoke requested Stars and Stripes in a Klezmer version. <laughs> and Katie Moss, is that, is that right? Yeah, is a clarinetist. She asked for, she composed uh, a piece that she calls Not So Simple Gifts. So who would like to, so who would like to hear Stars and Stripes as a Klezmer? You can clap if you like, if you want, you hear that, yes? All right, and, and, and who, how many would like to hear Not So Simple Gifts first? So, the, the, what you should know is that Not So Simple Gifts is, is uh, probably, I, I, from what I can tell, is based on the, the folk uh, tune, it's uh, Simple Gifts. So I'm going to first play, play that so you hear it. Then I'm going to, well, let's play Katie Moss's first, and then I'll play Simple Gifts and we'll see what happens. All right. So this is, a, this is a, she wrote a waltz here. Is that, Katie, is that, is that about right? That's good? Okay. So, so here's, here's the original Simple Gifts. So if we move them together, it sounds like this. Slightly modal, mixing a uh, mixing a waltz with with four four made is is the interesting part of that. All right, so we have. Um, let's see, give you a few choices. So Arnund Kanan, is that Armand Arnund? Yes. Ar 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 Arena, can you say your name? Armand uh, created a whole Arvind. Arvind? I'm sorry. 
um, created a whole series here. Um, he asked for the Mario Brothers theme in these, these versions, uh, a Renaissance motet, a Baroque fugue, a Mozart opera, a Rachmaninoff concerto in the style of Debussy and as a postmodern critique. <laughs> so I, that, I, I would kind of like to do that. <laughs> oh. So what you don't know is that, uh, that the, um, the Mario Brothers is a spin-off from the Donkey Kong uh, series and was released as an arcade title. And one of the themes they used was Eine Kleine Nachmusik, which is Mozart. So that is actually, uh, that plus this rap thing that I listened to were the two choices, and of the two, I think the Mozart won. So you'll have the Mozart theme that you all know um, and in these various styles. So Motet, Fugue, Mozart, Rachmaninoff, Debussy, and Postmodern. Now Mozart is Mozart. That's going to be a, <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Rachmaninoff.
Let's see what Debussy sounds like. And as a postmodern critique, I don't know what that is. So let's find something a little bit different. It's, it's getting late, so we have maybe time for, t say, two more, maybe. Um, so uh, Alan Deckelbaum requested uh, the Star Wars theme as a ragtime. And I'd, I'd kind of like to do that. I was, I was his interviewer, actually, uh, first round. <laughs> so I feel like I can do that. Uh, and then, uh, then we can choose either, well, you already d decided I want to do the Klezmer Stars and Stripes before we're done. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that first. I already brought it up. All right, so. All right.
time for, for, for two more. I'm going to do Alan Deckelbaum, and then uh, I'm going I'm to end with Old Nassau for the Princeton, Princetonians in the, in the group. I'm, I'm also from Princeton. And, uh, and <laughs> well, it's because Dick Miles uh, asked for it. And he's, he's actually retiring from uh, Princeton after uh, uh, about four decades or more of, of service there. And actually, his name is on my wall because when I was there, he was the engineering physics chair, and I was just a lowly beginning graduate student. But now I have his uh, signature. Uh, on my on my wall forever. So I'm going to start with the uh, the um, Star Wars, and then we'll end with with Old Nassau. Oh, uh, Star Wars in a um, Imperial March is what he asked for. It's a mark. And uh, finally, uh, Dick asked for Old Nassau as a, um, as a rag, actually, a Scott Joplin rag. So first, this is the theme. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.